Have you ever wondered where your food comes from? How does it get from the farm to your plate or lunchbox? Today you're going to visit a farm to learn how apples travel from the tree to the farmer's market or grocery store. Fall is apple season in California, and we'd like you to join us as we visit Brian Howard, a farmer who grows delicious apples in Chico, California. Brian's family has owned the property he farmed since 1870. That's well over a hundred years. We asked him what he likes about farming. No rules, no bosses, <laughs> <laughs> basically. It's just a good way of life. Driving tractors when I was 10, yeah. 12, you know, starting young. <laughs> we followed an apple on its journey from Brian's apple farm all the way until it reached cold storage, where it is stored in a refrigerated room until Brian heads out for the farmer's market. We take the little motorcycle, see the white field bins over here? Uh-huh. Okay, we take the motorcycle, I got a trailer. Uh, we put the bin on there, take it out. We have picking bags. They pick them, and then we bring them up. Then we dunk them in that tank. Mm -hmm. We lower them like this, and they float off the top uh -huh. so they don't bruise. Once the apples are cooled, they move up the conveyor belt, are washed again, polished, and then buffed until they're shiny. The fruit rolls into a special machine that helps sort the different sizes of apples. The biggest apples are sold to grocery stores and Brian takes the smaller apples to sell in local farmers markets. No apples go to waste. The ones with wormholes and sunburn taste just as great as the rest, but Brian keeps them for his own family and for the people who work with him because people don't tend to buy fruit that doesn't look perfect. In Chico markets, Brian is famous for his fast-selling lunchbox apples. It started one day when he noticed that his smallest apples sold out every week because families thought they were the perfect size for their kids' lunch. His dad thought it'd be a great idea to prepackage the apples in bags. They take about the same amount every time. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how many bags of those I go through down there. Yeah. They buy them because they, they love them and they, you know, they're good. That is a huge seller. Once the apples are sorted by size and boxed up, Brian loads them in his truck and drives them to a cold storage facility that has a special refrigerated room designed to keep apples fresh. It's better not to store apples with other fruits and vegetables because as apples break down, they produce a gas called ethylene, which can cause other fruits and vegetables to ripen too quickly. Most of Brian's apples are sold at local farmers markets. Brian likes to sell there because he gets to see friends and customers that have been buying apples from him for many years. He and his family love to see people enjoying his fresh fruit. I, I give apples away at farmers market. Can, can you? Can I try a sample? I said no. Just try an apple. And I have never had a person that try one. That, literally never. That didn't buy one. I think. Honest to goodness, buy local where you can. Especially when you get a superior product, mm -hmm. I encourage buying local in season produce. It only makes sense. I mean, when you buy an apple for me, it's like the, or peaches, it'll be two hours old tonight when you buy it at Farmer's mm -hmm. Market. Where do your family's fruits and vegetables come from? Maybe you or someone you know grows them in containers or in a yard. Growing your own food is a fun way to eat your fruits and veggies and learn how they grow. Apples, like other fruits and vegetables, should be eaten every day to help build a healthy body. The fall is a fun time to investigate what fruits and vegetables are ready to harvest in your neighborhood. In California in the fall, you can find apples, pears, cucumbers, tomatoes, and squash. Ask to visit a local farmer's market and try a fruit or veggie you have never tried before. 
If you don't know what to do with it, just ask the farmer. The next time you sit down to enjoy a snack or a meal, take time to thank a farmer. They grow everything we eat. Jump.